All right, so let's take a look at our next example here. We're going to be seeing an RSX that's going to run on drag radials at the drag strip. And we're going to be looking here. This is going to be the calibration file. Let's go and open up then the associated data log file and jump into load. And I'm going to open it up here. Now, uh, we're going to be going back into our track tuning and we can evaluate it from this point forward. Now, we're going to be finding, again, this is uh, drag radials and the driver was new to driving a high power turbocharged car. So there's some things in here we're going to be taking a look at that are going to make a lot more sense when you see them and why there was some of this could have been driver error that we can improve on the quarter mile time. And then some of it's going to be going into making some actual changes in the actual tune file. So what we can see right off the bat here, this is the two step and it's uh, the two step here is at 4,000 and we can see that his throttle position here is at 54% throttle. Now, when we go into launch the car, we always want to make sure we're at 100% throttle. Now, in this case, we he was not at a, a full throttle. And looking here, as he went to launch the vehicle, he went into full throttle. Well, that was a big mistake because we can see we start off here at 4,000 and it bogs all the way down to 1,200 RPM. That was a huge bog. And then we can see it drives up into the gear here. And at the top of the gear, it's uh, only going to about 8,500 about 12 pounds of boost, the vehicle speed goes to 58 miles an hour, and this did not create any spinning here. We didn't spin in first gear, but that's because we had this really bad bog. We don't want to bog that much. So one of two things needs to happen here. One, he either needs to continue to launch it at very uh, mid-throttle uh, uh, percentage here, around 50, 60, and we increase the launch RPM, or we're going to go in and uh, go full throttle and then evaluate this again. And instead of bogging down here to 1400, if he was full throttle right here off the two step, he might have found it only went to maybe something like 2500, and that would have potentially fixed this problem here of bogging. He might only went down a little bit and drove up into the gear much better. Now, if we evaluate the performance for the rest of the actual gear, we can see he has he lifts his throttle here as the top at first. It's a huge lift in throttle, and we can see that the boost really drops. The red here is the boost, so we can see the boost goes up from 12 drops all the way down to full vacuum at 23 inches of vacuum and then it's going to take as soon as he gets back on the throttle at 100% it's at three pounds of boost then it takes a bit of time to get up to 11.6 then it ramps up here to the top of second and he does the same thing he lifts the shift you can see that the boost drops way down here again full vacuum and then again takes a bit of time to come back up so we can see right here he's on full throttle it's at five pounds until the time he gets to Around 16 pounds and third, we're losing a bunch of time here. We're probably, if you kind of look through the, the log, the timestamp, we're at 14.4 seconds, kind of pan back through here, uh, we're at 15.3. So we have a huge loss of time here. And the same thing on uh, the 3 4 shift. So the top of the gear here, this is 19 pounds of boost. It lifts the throttle all the way here. You can see the blue is the throttle, comes all the way down, comes back up. And the same deal, we're going to be finding as soon as he gets full throttle again. We'll be finding it goes from 3.7, then it builds up to 16 again. And if we pan back to the data log, we'll be seeing at 17.8 seconds, 